Hi, it's Chris again with CNH Auto Accessories in Margate, Florida. And I know a lot of people like our wheel skin videos, and I have done, uh, I believe, some chrome wheel skins on a Toyota Tundra. So today we're going to do some the black wheel skins on a Toyota Tundra. So let's come over here and take a look. Now, this is the factory wheel. This is how it comes from the factory. Take a good look at that wheel. Now, the biggest mistake we seem to have with people buying our wheel skins off our website is that they don't have the wheel the skin goes to. Now, if your wheel doesn't look like the skin, it does not fit. These are not like hubcaps, and this people are so get confused between hubcaps and skins, even though they do go on a wheel like a hubcap. But the main difference is this is an exact fit to this. So if you don't have this wheel, this does not fit. So it's real important when you're on the website, look at it, say, is that what I drive? You know, check, you know, like for example, you check the size. This is an, I believe this is an 18. Make sure it's the same size. So it's real important. Now, I do occasionally get people, um, I had a return recently where the guy said he just couldn't figure out how to put them on. Um, now we're gonna quickly go over that so you can see how they look right now. It's kind of, you know, a little plain Jane without it. Now this gentleman has a lot of black on here. There's no chrome on this truck. So this black skin will work very nice. So let's come right over here and I'm gonna show you how easy is this? Now, I get a lot of questions. Uh, people are like, well, can you still take the, uh, the wheel off and everything else and what about uh, weights and stuff like that? Generally, that's not a problem. Now, the first thing you wanna do is when you line these things up, you see that little cut right here? Make sure you line it up to this little fellow or stem here. Now, as you can see, they go right up like that. You're just gonna put it right there and then you just kinda and go around like that. And as you can see, I'm not quite sure why people have a hard time installing these, but now I had another guy say, well, one I got rattles. Well, there's different companies that make these wheel skins and the older ones are a little different setup than new ones. These are very tight fit. They're not gonna rattle. Uh, so that's a, a non-factor. Also, you can take the lug nuts off. So you do not have to take the wheel skin off if you have to take it off. Another question is, what about the weights? Well, as you can see, this wheel do does have weights on it and this fits right on top, no problem. So a lot of things people are concerned about are really not a concern. These fit very nice. I mean, the only problem I have is people buying the wrong wheel skin. They get the one, they have this illusion that whatever the wheel they have, the skin will fit. These have to match. So let's come around to the other side. I've already done it. And I would just want you to take a good look. Let's go ahead and how much better it looks with the wheel skins. And it's a very nice look. Now, of course, he has the black bumpers, the black step bars. So he really does not have any chrome here. So these are going to work very well. Uh, these are a terrific fit. I do like how they look. Now, you do see a little bit of the silver around there. Uh, if that's something that bothers you, then maybe a wheel skin is not for you. You should just go spend more money and get a wheel. Um, but, you know, again, this is an inexpensive way. This is going to give you a... Look like you bought a thousand dollars worth of wheels, which you don't. These are these um, not gonna be that much money. I'm not gonna tell you the price because the price is constantly changing because there there is price increases and stuff. And right now, some of these are even hard to get. Um, a lot of the companies who make these are behind like everybody else. Now, if you need a wheel skin, you can always call John, who's behind the camera, myself, Chris, Dave, whoever's at the store, where you can help you find the right wheel. Now, the best thing you do is you go into the Meyer website, you can put in your information in your vehicle, you can look at the wheel skins and see which one matches. Now, if you don't see it on the website, you can call us and uh, send us a picture of your wheels and then we'll tell you which wheel skin will work and also we'll check the inventory at the same time. So a lot of times I tell people, just go ahead and call us when it comes to the skins. Now, do they make wheel skins for every vehicle? They do not. Uh, generally. Uh, cars, you know, they're not going to make as many for cars and vehicles that don't make a lot of, you know, for example, uh, Mazda, um, it's, you know, they're not going to make as much wheel skins for Mazdas. Mostly wheel skins are for trucks and stuff, but they do make them for cars and a lot of SUVs. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, we got people and, and the older the vehicle, the more difficult it is to find a wheel skin for it. And the black ones are only for the newer models. Uh, they just came out with these a few years ago, maybe five or six years ago. Um, so, that, you know, if you have a vehicle that's older than that, the chance of you finding a black skin is less. So keep that in mind as well. Again, this is Chris with C&H Auto Accessories. And don't forget to like our video. 
We make these videos for you, and it doesn't cost you anything to hit the like button, and as always, subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Chris with CNH Auto Accessories in Margate, Florida. Thank you.